Are we about to have an unbelievable economic year in 2018? That is what we are discussing today, guys. Goldman Sachs has came out for an analyst at Goldman Sachs and said that 2018 is going to be a phenomenal year, a extremely strong year as far as economic growth goes around the world. This is very interesting because just a few days ago, I posted a video about could there be a stock market crash coming in 2018 when JP Morgan stated that we're going to have a painful correction sometime soon in the stock market. And that's kind of scary to hear things like that. But now we got someone on the flip side saying, no, 2018 is going to be an amazing year, an amazing year, guys. Guys. Now, first off here, 2017 has been an amazing year to be in the markets, right? We're still a little over a month here left in the year, right? On the, on the Dow's up over 18%. That's well over double what the Dow would go up in an average year. Usually you can expect somewhere around maybe a 7 to 8% return on the stock market. Dow, the Dow being up 18% this year is unreal. S&P 500 up well over 15%, okay? And then we look at the NASDAQ up 26% this year, guys. A mind-blowing year, 26% on the NASDAQ. You usually don't get the, st the stock market, uh, any index in general, to go up more than 20% in a year unless you are coming out of a recession type scenario. Maybe if you're coming out of a recession scenario when the markets just crash and you're in such a bad, you know, bad shambles and no one believes in the market and then all of a sudden the next year you kind of come on the rebound, sometimes you can get like more than a 20% gain in the stock market in one of those situations. But coming out of 2016, we, we were not in a bad economy or anything like that. And so to go up 26% and you know, the stock market was already near record highs so to go up 26% is unreal year in the stock market guys. So out of Goldman Sachs here, Goldman Sachs says, if you thought 2017 was surprisingly good, just wait for 2018. 2017 is shaping up to be the first year of expansion in which growth surprises to the upside. We expect 2018 to deliver more of the same. Him and his team expect global economy, the global economy to grow 4% on real gross domestic product basis because of several factors. So we look here, there's been a good year for the global economy and 2018 will follow that trend. Analysts at Goldman Sachs said, economic growth around the world has picked up steam this year. Germany, Europe's largest economy, grew an unex uh, unexpectedly strong, which I don't know how that's unexpectedly strong, that's kind of crappy, 0.8%, but I guess that's good for Germany. In the third quarter, in Japan, the economy has grown seven straight quarters. Meanwhile, in the US, uh, the US economy has grown 3% uh, in the third quarter, which is very very nice there. 2017 is shaping up to be the first year of expansion in which growth surprises to the upside. Okay, we expect 2018 to deliver more of the same. Um, you, we haven't had a lot of years recently, you know, coming out of the recession. The economy's just kind of been like going up, but nothing like that great, right? We've been stuck at kind of like 2%, maybe 1%, 2% GDP type numbers here. Um, if we can get to a 3% or 4%, it's massive how, how much that changes the entire economy economy guys because you got to understand how big the economy is and how much that changes everything out there guys so we look at this here uh, him and his team expect global the global economy to grow 4% next year for several reasons, including strong growth momentum, easing financial conditions, global monetary policy remaining, highly accommodative by historical standards, and the likelihood of fiscal stimulus in the U.S., okay? U.S. Pol uh, policy risk is another theme that they highlight in their note titled Top 10 Market Themes for 2018, Late Cycle Optimism. Heading into 2018, one of the top uh, policy risk in focus for investors is a passage of U.S. tax reform, uh, reform. A second policy risk, which has fallen off the radar, uh, but is still active in our opinion, is U.S. trade policy. Noting those two risks are potentially linked, Goldman currently sees around an 80% chance that tax reform gets done in early 2018. Okay, guys? So, basically, the tax reform, in my opinion, I think it's even uh, higher. I would say there's probably like a 90% uh, chance that U.S. tax reform gets done this year. So 2018 tax code will be changed, in my opinion, just looking at it from right now. But who knows, you know, the ball could still be dropped on that and maybe that causes some things to go downward. As long as that goes through, I, I see no reason why the U.S. cannot grow at a 3% plus clip 2018. But I want to remind you guys, the, the, the taxes, as far as the tax rates coming down, that won't really hit the economy till really like 2019, okay? Because 2018, everybody's still under the same tax plan. 
So as far as you know, actually the real money being in more people's pockets, right? From the that will not be until 2019. Okay, so that's when you can kind of start expecting something around there. But as far as when I look out of the economy, you know, I did the whole video, uh, you know, last week, so I don't want to kind of bring up the same stuff I already did. But you know, I see no reason why we can't grow in the at least in the United States at a three plus percent clip, and you know, China can grow at a five plus percent clip. Ever as long as that happens, you know, Europe can stay stable. I see no reason why we can't have a phenomenal phenomenal 2018. I'm just not convinced the markets are going to have the same type of year in 2018 as they did in 2017. Uh, you know, the, the NASDAQ going up another 26 plus percent next year. I'm not betting my marbles on that, guys. I do not think that's going to happen. If it does, I'm, I'm all for it and that's phenomenal, but I do not think the NASDAQ is going to go up another 26 plus percent next year. If it does, that's, that's awesome. I mean, the markets have had an extraordinary year and these type of years are, are few and far between, so you can't get too excited about it. It. But regardless out there, guys, you do your dang thing. Even if, you know, uh, things happen in the economy and things aren't as strong, you control your own fate. Don't get too caught up in the numbers. And, oh man, if it's only grown at two and a half percent, I can't make money. Or if it's grown at three and a half percent, maybe I can make money. Like, like you can control your own fate. You can make money. Don't matter what out there, guys. So anyways, hope you enjoy this day. Let me know in that comment section what your opinion is on this. Do you think 2018 is going to be a phenomenal year for the stock market, for the global economy? I really want to hear from you guys. Let me know. Hit a thumbs up today if you enjoyed this video. And you know what, guys? Have a great day.